Good morning. Welcome to Superior Sunrise. For 25 years, Superior Livestock Auction has been marketing cattle for people to people. Superior Livestock Auction, America's leader in livestock marketing. And now, here's Katie Kaufman. Good morning and welcome to Superior Sunrise, live from our last day at Week in the Rockies in the beautiful town of Steamboat Springs, Colorado. Today, I'll bring you the latest news in the livestock industry, discuss the cattle market, and we'll preview what we have to offer today in the auction. Coming up, Superior Livestock Representative Tom Odell will give us a quick overview of yesterday's offering. We'll relive the great party last night and talk with many award winners from Superior Livestock. I'll also share with you interesting Colorado mining facts, more trivia questions about the great state of Colorado, and Superior Livestock Representatives Doug Hinman and Dr. Ed Murray will join me this morning on Sunrise. Later in the show, world champion Ralph Wade and I will close Sunrise today with a cattle preview, and it's all coming up right here on Sunrise. Stay with us. recognized brandy preconditioning program helping to ensure that high value healthy calves are delivered to your buyers. Select Back includes programs for wing calves, calves on cows and calves from various locations. Vaccinate your calves with trusted brand name vaccines like Mobishield Gold 5, Cattle Master, One Shot and Dectomax and reap the benefit of improved calf health and productivity. To take advantage of the power, safety and efficiency of Select Back, call Superior Livestock at 800-422-2117. Here with me now is Superior Livestock Representative Tom Odell, and I have to say, what a great week of auction we've had. Well, Katie, I'm starting to feel like a broken record after four days of this sale, and you know we just keep getting along better and better, and we've got some great calves to offer today. But you know, right now we're sitting about 99% sold. That's a great sell. We've sold right out 170,000 head of cattle. And, you know, this market's really kind of supported us. Last night, that September corn was down the limit at 45 cents. Uh, cattle, live cattle were down, oh, 10 to 30, and the feeders were down kind of 50 to 70. So we're setting up to have another great day at the balance of these calves. Great. Are there any things, uh, real lots that stuck out to you yesterday in the offering? Well, you know, right now it goes right back to what we've been saying all week. These calves that have some programs to them, that's kind of what everybody's looking for. You know, this natural program starting to pay off. You've got to have shots in your calves. We got in some calves yesterday, didn't have shots, and it softened that market up pretty good, and we get right back on those calves that are in a program, and that's what everybody's looking for. Right. Yesterday, Pfizer Animal Health, Mike Hamby, was with us, and he talked about those preconditioning programs. And like you said, it makes a significant difference having that implemented in your operation. Oh, absolutely. If you're not going to put shots in these calves right now, these buyers aren't going to step out and take the risks that they're taking right now. Because truly, the buyers are stepping out there. They're taking a risk in buying these calves. They don't need to have the health problems. So us as producers, we've got to get the shots in the calves and make these things better. Today is our last day in the beautiful town of Steamboat Springs. Can you tell us what uh, your predictions are for the offering today? Well, we're running into a great set of calves to finish this up with. We've got about three hours of cattle to sell. So if you're looking for calves, you better step up and buy them now because this is the last day. Great. Well, Tom, thank you so much for all your help this week, and uh, you better get ready for the auction. Thanks, Katie. <laughs> Kicking off the awards banquet last night was our Superior Livestock Scholarship Award. All of us here at Superior would like to congratulate Caitlin Sarlo of Babcock Ranches down in Bukilia, Florida. She wrote an essay on her opinion of the following question. As generations pass down the cattle industry, advancements in technology will continue to soar. Soon, your generation will be leading the beef industry, and what direction will you take it? Her parents are Arnie and Dana Sarlo, and I can say they're pretty proud parents of her accomplishment. Her father serves as the ranch manager of Babcock Ranches and has been selling the Superior Way for 12 years. Caitlin plans to attend the University of Florida and major in animal science. Congratulations again, Caitlin, from all of us here at Superior Livestock.
Joining me now is General Manager of Superior Livestock, Mr. Jim Odell, and I just want to thank you for joining us this morning. And we had a great party last night, didn't we? You know, it's always a great event when we have all the reps together and all the customers that were here joined in. After it was all over with, they sat around and visited for several hours, and it was just a great evening. We had so many people here. We had overflow. The banquet was full. The ballroom was full. I mean, this truly is the family reunion for the cattle industry. Oh, it really is. And the people here at the Sheridan do such a great job. You know, they had it rain all afternoon to get the dust and everything down. And right before they got ready to put the stakes on, it quit and it just was perfect. Last night, we offered so many awards from representatives that had reached the 10,000 head mark, 20,000, 15,000, even gave away great belt buckles and custom saddles. I mean, that truly is significant for the company. Well, it is, but they're so good to the company, along with the reps that didn't quite get that plateau. They're still very important, too. So it was just a great evening. And did any real uh, uh, awards stick out in your mind? Oh, you know, I don't think anything great other than we did have a, a quite an event when we announced uh, the top producer this year because absolutely he did not know about it. <laughs> I think that's right. We did surprise him. He's going to be on in just a moment. But give us just an overview on your thoughts of what a great week we've had here in Week in the Rockies. Well, you know, this event's went on for quite some time. Originally, when we started, we had two or three days of sale and about two days of seminars, and that was just great, and we really enjoyed it. Well, then the sales took over. We had to quit doing the seminars, but this sale this time was just exactly the right numbers. We moved right along. We had a lot of cattle, but it didn't take all day, and everybody did enjoy this great country. Well, I know that so many buyers and sellers have come up to me and said what a great time they've had here in Steamboat Springs. But now I think it's time, Mr. Odell, that we bring in the 2010 top producer, Mr. Barrett Brody and his wife, and along with his dad, Bill Brody. We're going to try and get everyone in here because it's such an exciting time for the whole family. Barrett, congratulations. Well, thank you very much. It was quite a surprise. I was watching you. We had that video rolling last night, and you had no idea until you heard your voice. Yeah. Yeah, I really didn't. I'm still kind of caught off guard by it and taken aback, but it was just uh, it was a wonderful surprise, and it was a great honor, and, and uh, all those years we get to see Jim Davis or, or Jeff Wright or Ray Burnin, I just never thought I'd ever reach that plateau, and it just gives me even more respect for what those guys have done year in and year out. So without my dad and all the steps he did to help me get started and Lori's support and and putting up with all those nights and not being home in the county fair, taking care of things by herself, why it would have never have happened. I know you stopped me last night. You go, I thought you, I thought you forgot about me up there. You just passed right over my name. I said, no, you're the big winner this year. <laughs> Bill, what does this mean to you to have your son reach this huge, huge, uh, you know, accomplishment in his life for Superior? Well, Katie, it's it's just a great time in a father's life when you finally realize. Your kids don't need you anymore. They're doing it all without you. And I'm just so proud of him and Lori for what they've accomplished. And I know how hard they've run. I've done this for 22 years, and I know what it takes to get where they did. I never made it, so I'm pretty proud that he, he whooped up on me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I certainly agree with you. Now, you're from Kansas. Talk a little bit about your territory, some of your customers, and, and anything else you'd, you'd like to say about becoming the top producer. Well, I can't say enough about my customers because if they had hadn't put their trust in us and superior to market their cattle this would never happen uh pretty much my customer base is the flint hill corridor and steamboat springs is beautiful and the mountains are beautiful but in may and june i put the flint hills up with this part of the world uh any time of the year except it is 100 and some degrees down there and so everybody out there that's watching it's probably about 62 and it's beautiful here but we'll be back <laughs> joining you shortly Lori, you've been such a great wife to, to Barrett, your, your model wife to so many of the superior livestock wives and just the company in general. Barrett, talk about how important it is to have her um, a part of your company. Well, it's extremely important as far as she's my organizer. I'm a little <laughs> scattered a lot of times, but just the support and uh, the understanding about it when you miss a kid's ball game and everyone else's schedules, you're setting deliveries up and have multiple uh, producers and multiple people and things and her schedule comes last and for her to be understanding about that that's really important I saw last night like I said the ballroom was packed for the awards banquet but your whole family was here to see this and I still can't believe you had absolutely no idea no I really didn't it, everyone kept me in the dark that's for sure so I appreciate it and and I'm very thankful
Good. Well, we congratulate your whole family and Barrett so much for, for your accomplishment. I knew I know it was so great for you, and it was a huge, huge accomplishment. So now what we're going to do for all you viewers at home, we are going to let you get to know Barrett and his family just a little bit better, and we're going to run that video we played for you last night. Well, I've known it ever since I've been out of basically high school, and I started doing it full-time in uh, 91, right when we got married. In fact, I loaded my first set of cattle on the first day of our honeymoon for Superior, so it's been our way of life ever since, since I started doing Superior and being married. Superior Livestock has always come first for Barrett. From working with his dad when he was young to developing his own clientele since the early 90s. Barrett has not only continued to grow as a person, but as an outstanding Superior Livestock representative. Like all representatives, Barrett's on the road a lot, visiting with his customers throughout his territory. Uh, primarily, uh, the Flint Hill Corridor uh, of Kansas and then I have a ranch in southwest Kansas, so I'll trickle down into Oklahoma, into some of the wheat pasture country, and then every now and then I'll get some, uh, with the Flint Hills, we get a lot of guys from Texas or Oklahoma that'll shift cattle into us. And so occasionally I'll get to go into some parts of Texas that I normally wouldn't because of my customers being in the Flint Hills, and I'll get to go as far as San Angelo or even clear up to Montana to do something every now and then. When Barrett was young, he was out on a delivery with his dad and the customer made Barrett mad. So he walked to the truck, threw a sort and stick in the back, and it ricocheted right through the window, looking like a bullet went right through. Though times have changed and Barrett has developed his own set of customers, his passion for the cattle business and Superior have Not remained quarter. the same. Jim Odell says he's one of those people that takes care of business every day. He gets yes everything no, done, and I've never heard him complain. He does his absolute best for Superior Livestock and for his customers. Superior Livestock is number one as far as his life is concerned. I have friends that live in Utah, you know, Montana, Florida. Uh, sometimes we only see them once or twice a year, but like I say, I've been in this now for going on 20 years, and so it, it really is uh, in Colorado, and it's it's just been a wonderful way of life, and the exposure to people, they're the salt of the earth, our customers, our buyers, and our sellers, and I couldn't, I'd hate to have to make a living outside of the cattle industry. Superior Livestock's annual Video Royale cattle auction in Winnemucca, Nevada is coming to RFD TV. More than 200,000 head of the finest calves, yearlings, and bread stock will be offered from some of the best ranches in the West. To get your bidder number, call 800-422-2117 or click to superiorlivestock.com. Come join us in Winnemucca, Nevada, where buyers, producers, and friends gather as Superior Livestock brings the Western State's cattle market to you. Hey guys, Bad Boy's done it again. Me, MTV by Bad Boy Mower. It's performance with Bad Boy. And this on-the-fly 4x4 all-new gas-powered off-road rocket is making a splash. With trail-absorbing suspension and four-wheel hydraulic brakes, this 28-horse liquid-cooled direct-drive MTV was designed by pros but will take you anywhere. All for just $74.95. That's the MTV by Bad Boy Mowers. Ride with an attitude. Try it for 60 days, and let's see the difference it'll make in your animal. When you have an all-in-one feed, it makes all the difference in the world. It's, it's been a very good product for us. But my chickens are really great layers, and I think that's because of how I feed them. They look more complete, they fill out really well. You get exceptional gain, you get exceptional growth. It does make a difference that we can see, day in and day out. Take the 60-day challenge and save up to $55 on Purina Feed. Sign up at PurinaDifference.com. 
Did you know that Colorado has a rich mining heritage? Well, it began as early as 1859 when gold was discovered. Colorado's mining is valued at more than $2 billion, and minerals such as coal, gold, limestone, silver, soda ash, and sodium bicarbonate are just some that are found in the beautiful state of Colorado. When both the direct and indirect benefits of mining are considered, the industry in Colorado contributes about $8 billion to the state's economy. Colorado's mining industry directly employs 5 million people in the mining industry and generates more than 5,000 jobs. Colorado ranks sixth among the state in roy mineral royalty receipts, and in 2008, the state of Colorado received $178.4 million in coal, other mineral, oil, and gas production royalties, half of which are used to fund public schools. Now it's time for trivia questions of the great state of Colorado, so pay attention and listen up because I'll be answering these intriguing questions at the end of the show today. Where in Colorado is the highest paved road in North America? The first rodeo held in Colorado, which is also the world's first rodeo. The city of Denver claims which food invention back in 1935? Which United States Academy is held in Colorado Springs? And lastly, how many wildlife areas are located in Colorado? Now put your thinking caps on and we'll reveal those answers right before Ralph Wade and I do the cattle preview for today's auction. I'm excited to have with me now Superior Livestock Representative, Mr. Doug Hinman. Thank you for joining me this morning, Doug. You bet, Katie. And uh, you've been with Superior Livestock Auction for quite some time as a representative. I know that you grew up in Crimley, Colorado, but now you call Nebraska home. Talk to me about how you got started with this great company. Well, my sister's uh, work in the office and Mona runs the company pretty much I'd say and uh, I just got involved through knowing them and Jim and uh, was ranching full-time back in the late 80s and was needing another way to make some income so that's how it started. Growing up in Crimley, Colorado I think it's safe to say there's not too many people that grow up in that town. Talk to me about how you grew up. Well we had a ranch there and uh, with my grandparents and my parents and my dad had health problems so we left there in the night lake uh, 1977 moved to Nebraska and and uh, just that's how it all began so from the 90s you've been with Superior Livestock talk to me about the territory that you represent with the company I mainly work in uh, western Nebraska sand hills and uh, get into South Dakota some and uh, have some of the best cattle in the world and one advantage we have up there is the freight is a lot cheaper than the cattle that are up in Montana or farther away so You've been here all week for a week in the Rockies here in Steamboat Springs. Talk to us about the cattle that you've had consigned this week and, and just how great the market's been. Everyone's talking about it. Well, the market's just been awesome, and everybody got more than they expected they would a couple weeks ago. And uh, I always get some of my better consignments on this sale. Year in, year out, this is usually one of the best markets. So, uh, Did any of your customers join you? Uh, this year they didn't. A lot of them were busy haying and they're just behind with their spring work. So That's right. a they, lot of years a lot of them get here, but this year they didn't. So They sent you up here to represent. And just how many cattle do you have roughly that you think you brought up here to oh, consign? About 6,500. Do you have any selling today in, in the auction? I do. I have some calves on first thing this morning. So. Oh, okay. Well, we got we to get you out of here pretty quick. Uh, lastly, before I let you go, Doug, tell me about um, the benefits that you've had working with Superior Livestock and, and what it's done for, for you and your family, like, you know, having your sisters being in the brush office. <laughs> well, sometimes that's an advantage and sometimes it's not, but <laughs> it's been a great uh, opportunity and, you know, Jim's been a great leader and it's given us all just a great opportunity to improve our lot in life, I guess. That's right. Well, we thank you so much for joining with me on Sunrise this morning. And don't go away. Uh, Sunrise will be right back after this. Horn flies irritate cattle and can negatively affect the profit of your beef operation. Financial losses include decreased weight gains, feed efficiency, and milk yields. For as little as 3 to 5 cents per head per day, Altus at IGR is a feed through that goes to work in cattle manure where horn flies lay their eggs. Altus at IGR prevents horn fly larvae from developing into breeding, biting adults. Help keep your cattle peaceful, profitable, and horn fly free with Altus at IGR in your supplement program. To learn more, call your feed dealer today. Let's face it. 
You don't think a lot about your trailer hitch. You use it and forget it. We understand. But at B&W, we think about it. Short nights, long hauls, never-ending chores. The unthinkable. We think about it all, so you don't have to. B&W. We have a very special guest with me now, Superior Livestock Representative, Dr. Ed Murray, and we learned something new about you today. I don't even think Mr. Odell knew, but you're originally from Colorado, right. but now you call Spur, Texas home. That's correct. That's correct. I was raised in Colorado and graduated from Colorado State University in 1962 and went to Texas because the winters are too cold here if you want to do large animal work. So uh, we, we tried to find a little more moderate climate. I like you said, you are a veterinarian, a retired veterinarian, and talk to me about um, how that coincides with your uh, relationship and partnership with Superior as a representative. Well, in my pro through my professional life, I've worked for a lot of ranches, and the ranches in that area are fairly large, and, and a, a lot of my work is with horses or has been with horses in cow-calf operations, and thanks to Tommy Jeffers and Buddy Jeffers, uh, I had some cattle of my own one year, and they encouraged me to market them with with Superior. And the next year, uh, Tommy came to deliver them. He said, uh, "He said, why don't you think about being a uh, Superior rep?" And and matter of fact, my wife and I had talked about that the night before Tommy came. So, uh, coming a lot of the Superior reps have come from the the auction barn business or the order buying business, and and I came from. Uh, lame horses and plumbing cows and so I had virtually no experience whatever in in uh, livestock marketing so it's been a it's been a fun experience I've learned a lot and certainly have a lot left to learn but uh, it, it really fit because those people were in my in my hospital every day and uh, uh, they, oftentimes back then they woke up someday in October and said well it's time to time to sell calves and and uh, they didn't know that anything like superior existed and and this allows them to market their calves when they want to rather than uh, when the order buyer wants to come around in the fall and buy them on a depressed market so it's really been a fit for me and and i thought this would be a little bit easier for uh, to make a living doing than what i'd been doing and certainly it has been and i've had a lot of fun doing it and and uh, and and enjoyed it we talked earlier about the cattle industry and the cow herd size and how that's changed through the years. Will you expand on that? Well, I think we've seen these bigger ranches managed more well managed and their production areas. There, I mean, we sell grass, and uh, the better they can manage that product, then 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 the more product they have to sell. So we've seen rotational grazing come in. We've seen improved grasses come in. We've seen the we've we've seen the breed change. Uh, you know, today we're raising the same amount of beef on half the number of cows, and and uh, I think the question I like to pose: uh, uh, Can we do it again? And uh, certainly, if you'd have looked at a rancher back in the 50s when he was weaning 350-pound calves and say, "Can we wean a 700-pound calf?" He'd have thought you were a stark raving idiot. And uh, yet, yet we market these these really good quality calves, and and we've seen these these. Uh, uh, a lot of these ranches improve their management to the point that, that they, they have a better product to sell. Well, we thank you so much for everything that you do for Superior Livestock. I know it's a family affair. Your son, Clay, is also a, peer, is a Superior rep, and your grandson just won the Buddy Jeffers Scholarship Award last night. And we just congratulate your whole family and just thank you again for everything, Dr. Murray. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> and don't go anywhere. Sunrise, we'll be right back. Including me? Yeah. Oh, I don't get off. Okay. Right now? <laughs> now it's time to answer our trivia questions for today. So just where in Colorado is the highest paved road in North America? Well, the highest paved road, you're never going to believe this, is the road to Mount Evans off I-70 from Idaho Springs. 
The, ride, the road climbs up to 14,258 feet above sea level. So where was the first rodeo held in Colorado? Well, Dr. Murray, the world's first rodeo was held on July 4th, 1869 in Deer Trail. But you didn't know that, did you? Oh, <laughs> the city of Denver, Colorado claims which food invention back in 1935? I don't know if I believe this one, but I read it, so I'm going to tell you. Denver lays claim to the invention of the cheeseburger. The trademark for the name Cheeseburger was awarded in 1935 to Louis Belast. So which United States Academy is held in Colorado Springs? I bet you know the this Air one. Air Force Academy. <laughs> I think that was the only one I knew. That's exactly right. It is located in the beautiful city of Colorado Springs. How many wildlife areas are located in Colorado? Well, the state of Colorado has 222 state wildlife areas. Dr. Murray, thank you for walking me through with that. And now it's going to be world champion auctioneer Ralph Wade's turn to take center stage with me. As he enters stage right, have you been doing all week? Because I think you want to take over my show. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna, <laughs> <laughs> doing my best. <laughs> um, today we're offering, it's our last day of auction. We've offered more than 200,000 head of cattle all week long. What are your, uh, what are you wanting to see today in the, in the offering? Well, I hate it when you use the word last because that's, that's pretty final. But uh, this, uh, it, you know, again, exciting day. Uh, we've got some great kids to offer to the uh, cattle buyers again today. And coming from an area in Nebraska and South Dakota and up through that area where uh, I believe that uh, is probably some of our great grasslands in this great country and great cattlemen. And when they came out on the uh, Oregon Trail and came down the Platte River and, uh, and settled that country, uh, some of the great ranches and big ranches that are up up there and they're great uh, pioneers in the cattle business in that area as far as again as Tommy said earlier the uh, value-added programs and the breeding that they're doing in that country clear up into South Dakota and that they're just great cattlemen and, and it's going to be an exciting day with the type of calves that we're going to get to sell today. We talked all throughout the week about the quality of cattle that our customers continuously consign with us. Can you expand on, on the quality and like you were talking about the preconditioning programs? Well, Katie, I think, uh, you know, when you get to talking about quality and, and breeding and bloodlines and cattle, uh, you know, we've seen so much progress over these past years. It doesn't make any difference if it was Florida and all the way to the great state of Oregon and California. Uh, we have just done so much with our genetics, and I think that we've made through Superior and our marketing and uh, that they can see, I think we have just made uh, great strides uh, with the ranchers and being able to help them and show them what the, they can do with these uh, traits. I, I completely agree with you. I can't believe that we're going to sign off here at Superior Sunrise in Steamboat Springs, Colorado. We've had such a great week. We do have a short auction today, but we want to thank all of you so much for joining us on our last day of Superior Sunrise. We had a great time for a week in the Rockies, and let me tell you what, we want to wish each and every one of you a very, very happy 4th of July weekend. We want to God bless all of our troops out there, and truly, God bless America. Now, we have a very, very special guest, Doug Hinman, the superior representative that I interviewed earlier. His daughter, Danny Jo Hinman, will be singing a cappella, our country's beautiful national anthem, right after these messages, so don't go anywhere. Superior Livestock's annual Video Royale cattle auction in Winnemucca, Nevada is coming to RFD TV. More than 200,000 head of the finest calves, yearlings, and bread stock will be offered from some of the best ranches in the West. To get your bidder number, call 800-422-2117 or click to superiorlivestock.com. Come join us in Winnemucca, Nevada, where buyers, producers, and friends gather as Superior Livestock brings the Western State's cattle market to you.